Hey everybody, the captain here, another video request. Everyone keeps going, oh, I have so many video requests. I would love to get to my regular videos that I want to do, but um, I was on vacation, and so these kind of have built up. So, but don't worry, if you, and if you don't like the video requests, you don't have to read them. I always title them video requests, so you don't have to read those. Um, I, I will put up regular videos, but um, yeah, shit, they pay me. Um, yeah, I'm going to do video requests. Anyway, this one comes from Jared. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Jared writes, Hi Aaron, this is an economic question. It would be cool if you could do a video request on this. Why do foreign countries like China and Belgium continue to purchase U.S. bonds given the current level of U.S. national debt? With the U.S. national debt exceeding its GDP, what reason do these countries have to think the U.S. will be able to meet its financial obligations? Let me know how much you need and I can PayPal you the money. Um, it's, it's kind of a simple question in both Belgium's and China's cases, but then there's an overall larger issue why countries or anybody in general, including U.S. citizens, would want to invest in U.S. bonds and lend the government money. Uh, with Belgium, that's largely being considered, it's not Belgium or Belgian people or Belgian companies that's doing the majority of the investing. It's foreigners who are using Belgian accounts or foreign co companies located in Belgium using corporate accounts to buy U.S. Treasury holdings. They have not been able to unravel that and figure out like what percentage, because it is private companies, it's none of people's fucking business. So a lot of people are thinking it's um, foreigners and offshore companies using Belgium's uh, preferential tax treatment uh, to buy U.S. Uh, Treasury securities. So I, I would, there was some speculation going on that's the Federal Reserve doing it. <laughs> and there's some evidence too, if you look at their, uh, their money printing, you know, I was like, well, wait, where'd that money go? So another uh, reason to audit the Fed. Um, but that, that's primarily where Belgium, it, it's not really Belgium, it's that people who use Belgian accounts are, are doing that. As to China, the simple answer is they haven't been increasing their um, <clears throat> their holdings, not not since uh, 2011. It's, it's, it's remained pretty flat and, in, and it's starting to go down now. It's, it's, it was, what, 1.32 trillion, now we're at 1.2 trillion. So they're starting to liquidate their position, not aggressively, but a little bit. They're starting to taper, kind of like how the Fed's tapering, the quantitative easing. Uh, so yeah, they're slowly getting out of it. Um, so there's that. Now uh, they're slowly getting out. You could see it. It, it kind of goes up and down. And why do company or countries or anyone in general want to buy U.S. Treasuries? Well, here's the problem. It's because one, they're naive and they're stupid economists. Uh, all the world is Keynesian. All the Heads of state, not heads of state, but the uh, the chief economists and all the major countries in the world that have money to buy U.S. treasuries are Keynesians, and they really do believe they're going to get paid back with the you know with the full backing and faith of the federal government. Um, the second thing is, for as bad as we got it here in the United States, the rest of the world is pretty fucked up. Um, we're not that bad. Okay, we are in horrible shape, don't get me wrong, but most of the countries are in way worse. Italy's got 200% GDP, Japan's got two and a change, 100% debt to GDP. Um, most European countries suck, um, and the only countries that don't really suck are really small relative to population, don't really have much pull or effect on the economy, like Switzerland or Norway. Um, successful, you know, in good financial condition, but they don't have trillions of dollars to just go and buy shit. Well, the Norwegians maybe, but uh, anyway. Um, so when countries are looking like, okay, where do we park our assets? Where do we hold reserves? Foreign governments or large financial institutions or pension funds? We got to find a place to get out of out of cash because cash will lose its value to inflation or fear of fears, our central bank just keeps printing off more money. Where can we go? Well, let's go to the United States. And they go there uh, because, one, the U.S. is in the least worst condition, and two, they really have it in there. These, these people grew up in the 40s and 50s, and they're brainwashed in Keynesianism and central bank, and they actually think the United States is like this, you know, salvation, like it's really stable. Um, here's one place I will actually agree with Vladimir Putin in China on. He's getting out of the United States in investment holdings. Uh, they're setting up their own uh, international transaction system, uh, as they should. It, um, you know, it, 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 there's that. The other final reason that the U.S. has value or continues to attract foreign investors is that it still technically is the reserve currency. And 
a lot of people say, well, what's reserve currency? Well, let me explain it this way. The, let's say you go to the Caribbean or you go to Canada. You don't even need to exchange into the local currency. They'll take dollars. Well, that means the economy has been dollarized. And the reason it's become dollarized is because they have more faith, not necessarily the Canadians, it's more of convenience. They have more faith in the U.S. dollar than they do their own. Now, think about what this means. Like, most of the world will take dollars. You go to Africa, you go to Asia, they'll take dollars. They don't care. They'll take it. Well, in regular economics, U.S. dollars would only work in the U.S. economy. And that means we'd only have all the money, all the dollars in the world. All the dollars in the world would have to be spent in the United States because you could spend them anywhere else. And you'd have to buy goods and assets and things here in the United States. But if the rest of the world is so unreliable, corrupt, blah, 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 you get reserve currency status. And that means people go to your currency. It's like investing in gold. It's like, I'll take dollars. I don't want your Jamaican fugity foos or whatever the currency is. I don't know. It was in Jamaica. They took dollars. They're happy to have them. <clears throat> so we're going with the U.S. dollar. Well, now, with that same amount of money, you now can buy things in a lot more countries. In other words, you, your purchasing power has gone through the roof. Um, and I don't know why cor U.S. corporations or companies don't start buying foreign assets, but neither here nor there. Um, so you just got a lot more purchasing power, a lot more value with the U.S. dollar because it attained a reserve currency status. And that's another reason why people are so, I think, through rote rehearsal and brainwashed and indoctrination and, and horse blinder Keynesian economics that they've been trained in in school. They just go to the reserve currency, which is the U.S. dollar, because it's been that way since World War II. Yeah. They don't bother, like you point out, to look at our debt ratios, look at our declining labor force participation rates, look at our, in general, sucky culture and, and economy and people. They don't They don't look at supposed suburbanite kids who don't work and major in shit. They don't look at get out tra trash or trailer trash. They don't look at illegal aliens coming in who don't fucking pay taxes and you know don't care to learn the language. They don't look at any of that. It's just, oh, the 50s really swell, the US dollar is really strong. So that's ultimately another reason why they do it um it is people are getting wiser um you know uh you know again vladimir putin some other countries are starting to back out china's starting to back out uh but that is in general why you're like why would you lend money to such a financial deadbeat you know we're not we're not as bad as the rest of the world but still bad wrote rehearsal regular previous behavior patterns and a three reserve currency status so hopefully that, that was Exciting? <laughs> Half the people. It's uh. <coughs> you didn't you want to want to learn about reserve currencies? They're fascinating history. Anyway, that's all we got. Doodle.